Hey guys, how's it going? Thought I'd do a quick video on how I rusted the, the plastic rim here. Had a few of my subscribers indicate interest in what I did there. Um, so, as you know, I'd done the uh, green door and I figured I might as well do a, gr a green rim. Spray paint a green rim to match as if it had been switched out from the same junk truck. So, um, I painted this rim and uh, while I was waiting for it to dry I was thinking about the weathering and um, the method I'd use and I was thinking I would use the um, metallic paint and rust activator uh, set that you get to, to add the, the rusty patina to the rim like this um, while I was sitting there I looked down at my floor and noticed it was kind of filthy and covered in metal filings and I thought well instead of using a metallic paint I already had wet paint on the rim so I went and grabbed the uh, painted rim while it's still wet and um, got down on my hands and knees on the floor there and, and started to sprinkle uh, metal filings if you have a vice and you're using grinders and cutters and that you're going to have metal filings on the floor below it so I sprinkled these metal filings into the wet paint and they kind of stuck in there. Went a bit heavy on the green rim maybe, but I uh, was experimenting. So, yep, I sprinkled that all in um, uh, just the dirt and metal filings off the floor. And then uh, after the uh, paint dried enough, I sprayed the rim with um, rust activator, which in my case was garden not really garden, uh, kitchen variety, table salt and white vinegar. And you get it at any kitchen generally if you go and have a look in the cupboards. No etches, no acids, just simple stuff. That rusted up overnight pretty quick and um, once that had rusted up overnight I went about, well I just sprayed it with a little bit of water H2O just to knock off that excess um, dust and rust and get it to settle a bit more and um, maybe wash off some of that vinegar and stuff like that so yeah that was pretty much it and the result is what you get here but well, this one looks pretty good and rusty I'm quite liking it so I'll have to show you the one that I did for the dramatic recreation it's not as good as this and it's because disclaimer when I did this one, I sprayed it quite heavily in the green paint, so I doped it up pretty heavy of paint. When I did the uh, red one, so I could show you how I went about it, my rims were already red, so I just used a bit of clear coat, and um, I didn't dope it as heavily, so I think that's affected the, the stickiness of the um, metal filings. So yeah, I'll, sh I'll um, get more together here and line them up and show you pretty much but the rims are weathered for better or for worse and I think this is the first one's probably the best one so yeah if you've got a dirty floor and wet paint try it out you don't because they're those uh, rusting solutions they're very good but they're quite expensive also especially if you're down here in the South Pacific you add ship into that and you're gonna double the price yeah all right I'll do a few posy shots of all of them back on this chassis here after this but that's pretty much how I did it guys and yeah, results may vary, let's just say that. Give it a crack. Doesn't matter. You can always just sand it back again, eh? Alright, catch us on the next one. See you later.